guys, so in this video I'm just going to be doing an updates video because pretty much over half of my fish got new tanks, so that's really exciting. And I pretty much got my tanks, like, I got everything organized in my room for, like, fish-related things. So, yeah, I'm really excited about everything, so I'm just going to be showing you and telling you about all the updates. So, if you guys would like to see updates, then stay so tuned. the first update is on my three female babies. Here are the three tanks they used to be in. A 1.5 gallon, this like four gallon tote for like a couple days. And then this 3.5 gallon. So these are the tanks they used to be in. But now they are divided in this 10 gallon tank. So, this is a 10 gallon. Here is Daisy, Chartreuse, and Belle. Um, I'm just going to give you a little tank tour. So, starting on Daisy's side, we just have black and white gravel throughout the whole tank. And then we have this little piece of coral decor thing from PetSmart. <coughs> We have this silk plant that came in a three pack from Petco. We have this little air stone in the back which came from Petco. And a Petco thermometer. And right now the tank is at about 82 or 3 degrees. So it stays really warm. And then there is just a divider. And then we have the, a pinkish purple and green plastic plant. We have a moss ball, which is like a really tiny piece of a moss ball that I broke up. And then we have this like Asian tower thing from PetSmart. We have this pink and green silk plant from PetSmart. This little plastic plant from PetSmart. And then we have this little like hammock thing that I made out of craft mesh and Chartreuse really loves it. And then in the back, there's just this Aquion heater. It is 50 watts, and it keeps the tank, again, around 83 degrees. So, as you can see, she's still marbling a lot. I don't know if I showed you guys that before, but she's really marbling on her stomach and getting a lot more purple and blue. So, yep. Then we have the divider. And this is Belle's side. Um, there's just this terracotta pot. And then we have this plastic plant, it's green, from Petco. We have this green and white plastic plant from PetSmart. This green silk plant from PetSmart. And then we have the filter, which is, I think, like a 10 to 15 gallon filter. So, yeah. And then here's Miss Bell. And I don't know if you can really tell. Okay, now you can tell a little bit better. She got in with Chartreuse, and Chartreuse kind of bit her up and ripped her fins a little bit. Luckily, it's not too bad, and I fixed the divider so she cannot get into Chartreuse's tank. Chartreuse doesn't have a single nip on her fins, though, so I guess that's okay. But she kind of destroyed her dot bottom fin. But it should grow back nicely. And... Then there's just this screen top. We have this light that I'm using. It's a desktop lamp, but it works really well for this tank. And then I just put the food right there. And then that's about it for this tank. But and then down here, we just have Barry's tank, and it is a 5.5 gallon as always. And I'm just gonna give you a little tank tour. It just has bracket. Black gravel at the bottom, two moss balls, but I just split it in half, so really it's one. And then I have that rock back there, this green silk plant from Petco, this green silk plant from Petco that came in the um, three pack with this plant. And then we just have this bubbler that goes on the wall, and then it keeps just the water moving at the top. And a heater and a thermometer, and then we just have this floating plant that he loves to go through and that's about it for his tank now you're probably all wondering what happened to her goldfish that used to be in her 10 gallon well he kind of got a new home and i'm going to show you that in three two one 
here's his tank, guys. So this tank is a 20-gallon high. And I got a high because I didn't have room for a 20-gallon long. But it still works just fine. And so I'm just going to give you a little tank tour. Um, it is right by my bed. So when I'm laying down at night, this is what I see. So I can just see him swimming around at night time. So that's, I just have a side view right here. So I think it's really cool. But anyway, so I'll just do a little tank tour. There's just this green plastic plant from PetSmart. This bridge from PetSmart, which I put a little air stone thing connected to, which does reach the top. And, and it's so really powerful. So it, it works really well. And I just have this green stuff plant that, I, that came in the other three pack from the other video, from my last video. Then I just have this green, tall, plastic plant, that's smart. And then I have this floating plant that I just have at the top. And I really don't know where it's from because someone gave it to me. But it's right there. And then here's Mr. Bugsy. And then we just have the bubbles at the top, obviously. And then we have this Whisper Power Filter. And this filter is pretty old. It was given to me um, by the same person that gave me this plant. But it's for 30 to 40 gallons, I believe. And it works really well. But I don't think they make them anymore, actually. But it's so old, and I can't get the, like, watermarks off of it right here. So that's just what I have there. But I don't think they make them anymore. So if you wanted it, I'm sorry. I don't think they have them. But I just thought I'd tell you that. And then I just feed him sinking pellets, and they're just on top of my bed. They're just from Earl May, and you can get them pretty much anywhere online, and then at Earl May, obviously. But that is it for the tank. So that is the end of my video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this update. Um, like, comment, subscribe, live it, dream it, do it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!